Swiss Team Challenge athletes, this is Shane Farmer with Dark Horse Rowing. This is event two, wad six, four athletes, three minutes, and the fastest split possible. We are talking about the best way to accomplish that. So number one, as few transitions as possible. You do not want to be switching on and off the machine multiple times. With only three minutes and four athletes, you're going to have to probably get one crack at that fastest split. Now, with transitions, it's important that you are using a quick release. If you don't use the quick release, you're gonna waste precious time simply moving between athletes. So let's talk about the quick release. First, with that quick release, make sure that you adjust your foot stretchers properly. If you can, as a team, have one unified setting, okay? Next, make sure that those straps are nice and loose when you get in. So, when you are finished, let's say that we've taken a couple strokes and I'm finishing my piece. I'm gonna place that handle in the catch. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not gonna make my teammates suffer. And then comes the quick release, and this is really important. Take the extra second here because it will save you seven on the back end. You're gonna grab your foot stretcher. You're gonna place your thumbs on the buckle. You're gonna press the buckles out. This is where most people stop. They let go and try to snake out. But you're gonna go an extra step. You're gonna keep the thumb on the buckle, and as you push away on the buckle, pull your toes to your face. You'll notice both straps loosen a lot more. You can go toes up, heels out. Here's where the other transition piece comes in. Make sure you communicate with your teammates. All of you will get off to one side. The other teammate will come in from the opposite side. So if I step off right, teammate comes in from the left, or vice versa. Communicate that ahead of time. All of you need to practice the quick release so you can do it quickly. Don't waste time just moving on and off the machine. All right, so that's the quick release. Reduce transitions and you'll have more time for your effort. Next, our objective to reach that lowest possible split is to get the flywheel spinning as quickly as possible. So we're more concerned with speed out of the gates as opposed to power. So what that means is you may find that you are a little bit more effective with a lower damper setting. So I'm gonna set that low damper setting. If you're used to an eight, nine, or 10, do a little test before the workout starts. If you have some time, get on the machine, lower the damper, because again, what we care about is speed of the flywheel, because that is going to impact the monitor and the split, and that's all we care about, is getting the split down as low as possible. All right, so with that damper low, we need to get the flywheel spinning. What that means, we don't have to worry about a whole sprint start here, because our objective is simply lowest possible split we're going to use whatever sequence you want of short strokes just to get it spinning and then we're gonna get crank it on the power. So to do that, what I would suggest is starting at some kind of half or three quarter slide stroke, so not your normal stroke. So you're gonna start a little bit short, which means that from the catch, you could actually just pick up the handle and you're ready to go. But what we're gonna do is focus on speed and you're gonna remove the body swing from the stroke. So driving through the legs, snapping the arms. So legs and arms only to get that flywheel spinning. Now I wanna take about five strokes as fast as possible. That'll get that thing moving. So if the handle's in the catch, grabbing it. And my flywheel's spinning. That gives me the next five to 10 strokes to focus on my power. Now this is where you guys are just trying to squeeze every possible element out of each stroke. Now, my suggestion here, as it was earlier, is make sure that you aren't spending too much time on the machine. You should really take one crack at this and give it everything you've got. Every team member, one time through, give it everything the first time. And if somebody feels like they screwed up, maybe they get one more opportunity. But other than that, you guys should be getting on cranking the thing, right? Short strokes to get it started then get into the power, and if you don't hit it in five to 10 strokes, stop that effort. If you try to push it beyond 15 strokes, you're gonna blow up and you're gonna waste extra energy, all right? Guys, this is Shane Farmer with Dark Horse Rowing. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck, event two, wad six.